Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at an awesome front kitchen travel trailer that's super quality and luxury. This is a 2022 Forest River Rockwood Ultralight model 2608 BS. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Rockwood and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. I am super excited to be showing you this awesome quality travel trailer, the Rockwood. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going today? It's going good. It's a beautiful morning here in Tampa. We're at RV1. Huge thanks to them for allowing us to record here today. Yes! Um, and yeah, I'm super excited to take a look at this Rockwood. It's a it's a, a little bit of a unique floor plan. Yes! But that's one I really like. So. Absolutely. We're really excited to finally be showcasing Rockwood. Yes! Today. Will, let's begin! Alright! Model is 2608BS, which doesn't make any sense for the model number. Right. Like out of the blue right the actual tip tip length of this travel trailer is 29 feet 11 inches i absolutely love that because it's truly under 30 feet it's perfect for state national parks the dry weight is 6836 pounds and will what's that hitch weight 946 pounds perfect always use weight distribution bars yes we recommend the uh kurt brand yes what's up kurt <laughs> captain kurt right up here will we do have a nice power tongue jack Big propane tanks right here. And then look at this, a dual battery box right there. Okay. Now this has a beautiful fiberglass front cap. I love the way the Rockwood looks, the design of it. And that is an awesome front windshield right there. Right. Right underneath here, we do have a diamond plate rock guard. And then coming on down the side here, look at this. Very nice storage with slam latch doors. Yep. Underneath there, we do have a place for solar if you want to hook up solar. And then here we do have electric stabilizing jacks. All you gotta do is push a button and it will uh, stabilize your travel trailer, which is nice. Water heater on the outside right here. Uh, and then right here is a place if you wanna hook up like a little cooktop or whatever. And a propane quick connect is right underneath there. Higher end travel trailer will. Yeah. Frameless windows, I love that. Now there is only one window here, but there's more windows on the other side. Very nice feature. And then there's two entryways. Wow. I love, I know. Hydraulic assisted solid steps on a travel trailer. And it's on both doors. Wow. You think they're both uh, hydraulic assisted? I don't assisted? know. I doubt the second one is. Okay, look at these tires. Well, they're the good years. I love those. ST205-75R15. Very nice. Um, TV on the outside, hook up another bracket. This is where you can hook up your TV. Speakers on the outside and a very nice slipper power awning with LED lights. Oh, that's well, a big awning too. Yeah, it's huge. Make sure you show that as well. Okay. People can pause if they want to. Cool. And let's check out these other steps right here. Okay. Both wow. hydraulic assisted. That's pretty cool. Wow. And then Will. Yeah. The inside looks fantastic. <laughs> All right. Okay. Coming on down the side here. Here's the button for your stabilizing jacks. Potable water fill, potable, potable. Outdoor shower right here. And then uh, coming around the back, we do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier. We do have a hitch, 300 pound hitch for vertical weight. Uh, prep for a Fury on backup camera. 50 amp here. It's, and it, it's wet today, Matt. Yeah, I'm still gonna climb up You it. are? Hell yeah, okay. but only in America and a one-piece uh, TPO roof. Will, let's go up there and take a look. All right, be careful. By the way, before I do, I haven't seen the inside yet, but this is like checking off a lot of boxes. Right, maybe. right. You know what I'm saying? All right, here we go now. Be careful. Here we go. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one-piece TPO roof. One AC unit, it is prepped for two AC units. Right there's your 360 antenna. Max Air fan, and there is a solar panel here on the roof. Careful coming down. Oh, I did slip a little. Did you? Yeah. There you go. Great. Oh, if you haven't already, 
Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button, like, and subscribe. What are RV salesmen taking this fat ass up on the roof, showing you what features the Rockwood has to offer? Nobody. Nobody. Hey, did you touch on this yet? Oh, I forgot okay. about that. Tell us about it, Will. Yeah, that's kind of the docking station, I guess. Your tank flush right there, black tank flush, city water connect, and that is for winterizing on your cable as well. Very nice. And a I do like light. how there's a light yeah, right there. Yeah, that's cool. Because everybody knows you always check into the campsite when it's dark yep. and rainy and wet and miserable. Right. Okay. Finishing up. Wow. Oh. Wow. Oh, wow. Double wow. Triple wow. Okay. Huge storage. But, well, say my storage. I love that. Look at how deep. Yes, slide very deep are. slides. That's amazing. Same on this side. Really, really nice. Oh, and there's your dump station. Okay. Not the best, not the worst. Yep, for sure. But with this many, these big slides on the side, it's a good spot. So this travel trailer would look phenomenal behind my truck, by the way. Yeah. I have an orange truck, America, if you don't know. It's my favorite color is orange. <laughs> uh, and then there's docking lights and everything. Cool. Well, well, the outside of the Rockwood looks f fabulous. Top of the line, the best we've seen all week so far. But the inside's going to look even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Get into that door, Will. OK. So we'll go in the back door, which leads right into the bedroom. Got the nice bedroom right here. Off to the side is the bathroom. And then coming through is your living area, dining area, and kitchen all the way in the front. Where are we starting? I mess with this floor plan a Yeah, lot. this is a good floor plan. This is a great floor plan. We're gonna start in the middle. Okay. Midship living area, okay? The Millersburg collection. Ooh. I love that. Nice tri cushion sofa, also theater seats, yeah. also. Bam. Bam! Look at that, Will. That's a prism of power right there. All right. Cup holders and everything. I like this. This is an oversized seat. My Uno would be sitting right yes. here. Andre, right there. I'm right here. And uh, we have a great shot of the TV, but first. We do got lights. our lights right there. Storage above. Storage above. Very nice. Nice looking cabinetry. I like the lights. And how do you like the balance as well? Balances are on point this this uh, yeah. filming session. Yeah, for sure. For the last couple days, they've been great. Yep, yep, for sure. And then across is the TV Entertainment Center. It's in... Uh, ooh, in Insignia. Thank you, Will. There you go. Power right there. Speakers and a DVD player there. And a fireplace that does produce heat from electricity. And then right over here. Oh, I love that too. Um, nice wardrobe. You can remove these if you want to have a coat closet. But if you're like me, you're not going to need a coat closet. So it's nice to have the shelving for like the pantry, pantry area. Space, yeah. Yep. And then right over here, Will, you know what I'm noticing? What? No uh in, in command or whatever it is or any of those screens yeah. you know what i'm saying like give me buttons give me the satisfaction of pushing these awnings water heater right like i just want to check all this out yeah uh zoned ac unit one and two very nice and then right over here will is the dinette i like this the dinette isn't pinned down right so if somebody's fatter you know like me you know you know, and I can adjust it, you know. Honestly. Right, right. Here, um, sit down on that side. Let's see okay. if you can do it. Yeah, this is a good dinette. All right, and push it to where you're comfortable, towards me. My feet are in the way. Towards you. No, I'm good right here. Oh, you're good right there? Yeah. And I'm good right here. So this, this is, is perfect. This is really nice. I like the window right here, and I like the window right here. And again, nice blinds yes. and everything. You got your LED lights there. This table does drop down to make a bed. And then, while Will's coming out, we do have storage underneath there. And then, storage underneath there. Cool. Will, do you want to show us the kitchen? Of course, but before I do, I want to give a quick reminder. 
We are now partnered with RV Retailer, yes. which is a nationwide network of dealers. So if you're interested in this unit or any unit that we show, yep. make sure to go to our website, mattsrvreviews.com, fill out one of the three contact me forms, and Matt and I will personally make sure that you are uh, taking care of you get the best price in America. Yes. You get a fantastic service. Yes. And an amazing experience. Absolutely. <laughs> well, show us the kitchen. Cool. Sounds good. We're still working on that, America. Yeah. But I think that's the direction that we're going in. And so we got some nice storage all the way along the top front here. Yes. Which is very nice. Nice big window here. And yes. you can close that off. If you okay. Want a privacy. I love the front windshield, y'all. Yeah, that's very nice. Um, you got your power, USB, everything, uh, your inverter there. Nice countertop space here, and it is solid surface here. Okay. Couple drawers. All right. Oh, man. There we go. Get it. And some cabinet space down below. Yep. Right here. Very nice. What, what's that on the counter, Will? Oh, yeah. This is the TST tire pressure monitoring system. Okay. Uh, comes with any Rockwood now, because they're part of their division of Forest River. Yep. Over here, you got some uh, cabinet space right there, and you have this apparently amazing new microwave, yes. just like all the others. So it's funny, we went out to dinner with a factory rep last night, and we were telling them about how this microwave is gonna change the industry. Yeah. <laughs> it says industry's first exclusive for Forest River, so Damn. it must just. You know, I was about to buy a Keystone, <laughs> right. but then I saw this microwave, and I'm like, nope, Forest River's the yeah. way it is. <laughs> That's um, so funny. It is. Greystone, uh, Greystone range hood right there. Yep. Uh, nice window on your camping side there. Three burner Magic Chef cooktop yep. right here with the lights. And then, oh, these are those. Um, oh, for the outside. For the outside. Yep. Yeah. The oven right there. Yes, sir. Kind of going all over the place. It's okay. And then you got a little uh, sink with the spray faucet there. Oops. Double sink with the inserts. I'm messing it all up. And some storage underneath. Very, oh, hang on, hang oh. on. Very nice. And then to wrap it all up, we've got a nice uh, fridge right here. This is a compressor fridge. Move your, oh, move your arm, move your Sorry. arm. Sorry, made by Demac. Yeah. So you wanna know what's funny? What? Well, one, ch check out that spatula in there. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah. That's a Forest River spatula. That is. You see it? And yeah, it's like branded for Forest River. Yeah. That's cool. I would buy this unit over another unit because the size of the fridge. Yeah. But I would never do it because of a microwave. Right? It's so funny. The funny thing is... I don't even understand what, what about it is different. Oh, a full-size 11-inch dinner plate. Uh, That's what it is. Okay. That's the RV industry, though, guys. Like, these factory reps, they call us, and they're like, you're not going to believe it. Dude, you're not going to believe it. Game changer. <laughs> right. All four server products are now number one because of the microwave. <laughs> right? We're like, okay. Great job. And let me tell you guys something. I, I can tell you right now, this is one of my favorite travel trailers. That's why we're joking yes, about it. Yeah. And when we do the Matt's RV Reviews Awards in January, this definitely made the list of the top five. Right. But I'm telling you, nothing about it is because of the microwave. Right. It's because of the head height in here. Yes. It's because of the quality, yep. the look, the fit and finish. The floor plan. The floor plan, not the uh, microwave. <laughs> All right, well, show us that shower. Okay. It's gonna be a radius one, isn't it? It is, yeah. It is what it is. Can't be perfect. Yeah, so you guys know radius showers fail. Yep, it's okay. It is. Okay, right here. Okay, little bit, you know, good for towels and stuff. Right over here, medicine cabinet. Nice little soap dispenser, toothpaste holders. Uh, you got your thing there and a little bit of storage there. This is good though. Oh I yeah. Can, I can deal with a radius shower because this is a prime poop position. Bing! Very nice. Okay. Two entries to the master bedroom. Master bedroom in here is freaking phenomenal. I love this master bedroom for a travel trailer. Okay, this bed is smaller though. This is not a queen. No, this is a queen, okay. but I bet you you could get a king in there because it looks like you got enough yeah. space there. Okay, so queen possibly option for a king but this has more space in this bedroom than some fifth wheels do honestly it's a deep slide out it is these deep slide yeah. outs are huge very good storage above nice looking headboard so rockwood has been one of the most popular sellers yes i mean you you go back and when you see older units 
uh, on dealership lots, like 02s, 03s, uh -huh. like they're Rockwoods, you know yes, what I'm saying? Yes, they are. So it's a name that's been around for a long time and there's reason why. Power and USB over there. And then right over here, huge pantry space. Nice storage, nice storage. And then there's drawers underneath here. Now I think this flips up too, right? To connect to the outside. Wow, Yeah. okay. So nice, you can see the storage and that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Really, really nice. And then right here, I set it when I was up on the roof. It is prepped for the second AC unit. I like that because it helps keep the MSRP low. Right. Um, and not everybody needs a second AC unit. Right, and it... But if you did want it, you can add it. Yeah, and with the way things are today, too, there's tons of AC shortages. Right. So it's like, hey, get, you know, get the customer the unit, and if they want it, then they can add it, exactly. you know, at the dealership. Exactly. Um, and it's one of those things as well, you can take it home now. Yes. And you don't need to wait three months for the AC to come in. You can survive for exactly. three months. Exactly. And then uh, we didn't mention there is a TV backer right there. And then yep. we also didn't mention the AC is fully ducted through. Right. Well, Will, everybody's dying to know what the MSRP is. And guys, stick around because you are not going to want to miss it. It actually is very good for a travel trailer like this. Okay. Uh, but before we go over that, it's time to give everybody three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we don't like about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike. Okay, you go first. Okay, mine's outside though. Oh, okay, you let me go inside. Okay. So I'm gonna be petty, because I've been looking. How many dislikes do you have, Will? Just one. Okay. I can the, stretch the for a second. The carpet. You, need. you know, the carpet, um, yes. it's not that big of a deal. But, but especially under the slot, or under the what this unit's, dinette. yeah, what this unit's giving you, I've been analyzing the whole time. I, I'll double combo that. The floor vents. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And again, I'm being really petty here because I have not seen very many things that I disliked about it. Yep. That's number one. Well, okay. number two. Going outside. Going outside. Um, one thing, and there's really no workaround with this floor plan probably, but I don't like that there's only one window on your campsite. Okay. Just, you know, you want to watch over the kids or see what's going on outside, especially if you're like stuck in the kitchen cooking dinner tonight or something. Right. You know, it's, it just kind of sucks. So I'm going to say two things about that. Okay. At least you have the front yes. windshield. Yes. But again, you're not looking over at your you're campsite. Not at campsite either. And I'm going to combo that because this isn't worthy of its own dislike. I hate this. Right. I hate these right. With my life. Yep. So that's number two. And then number three, we're not going to go back inside. Number three is the radius shower. Yes. Um, you know, it is what it is. I hate the radius shower. Literally, if it wasn't a radius shower, I could almost call this the perfect travel trailer. Right, right. Truthfully, truthfully. So that's three things we don't like about it, Will. Yeah. Now it's time for three things we love about this travel trailer. Okay. Oh, by the way, we didn't give a shout out to Lipper. Shout out to Lipper. Oh, yes. Uh, make sure you guys go to their Instagram channel. What they're doing is the 12 days giveaway, December 12th through the 24th. So all you got to do is go to Lippert's Instagram channel. We'll link it down below, their Instagram account. And every day they're going to be doing contests. And they're giving away Kurt sway bars, Kurt fifth wheel hitches, Furion backup cameras, Lippert zero gravity chairs. They're giving away good prizes. Yes. So we sure. appreciate them. So the first thing I love, Will, is these big, yes. deep slide outs. Absolutely amazing. Again, this travel trailer is 29 feet, 11 inches. So the fact that you're getting these deep slide outs is huge and I love that. Yes, for sure. That's number one. Okay. Will, number two? I'm, I bet I'm stealing one of yours. It's okay. But I love the double solid steps and I love the fact that they are all on this the strut assistance. Yep. So it makes it so easy to get them up and down. And like Matt always says, they're not gonna come crashing down on you if they come loose during transit or something like that. Yep, and so. that's something that I wanna also point out to people. We love this, and this is our sponsor's competitor. Yes. Um, and it's just like, and we appreciate Lippert so much, of course. but not everything's gonna always be about them. Right, right. And, and they know that. And they know that, but, but you know, some people have been commenting about that, like, oh, are you gonna stop talking about certain pin boxes or solid steps? And it's like, at the end of the day, especially with RVs, 
it doesn't matter if it's a Moride solid step or a Lippert solid steps. Yes. We just love the solid steps. Yeah, you know what and, I'm saying? And to add to that really quick, because I don't want to ramble on too much, but Lippert totally understands that. And the cool thing with Lippert is they're there for the, the customer just like we are. Yep. Um, and we just really align like that. If you ever even have an issue with Moride step, um, they would step in and try to help you if you weren't yep. getting the help that you needed. For sure. And they've told us that before, so it's really cool. Yep. And then they'll just send you a new pair of Lippert steps. That's yeah. right. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay, so that's number two. Oh, I have a number three. I just don't know what I want to make it. You know what I'm saying? Right. I I have to say this, the whole floor plan. Yeah. It really is great. I love the front windshield. I love the colors in here. I love the layout. I love the fact that it's 29 feet, 11 inches. I love how it's under 7,000 pounds right, now. Right, right. Which, that doesn't make much sense to me either. Um, and then like the head height head in height, here. Yeah. They just knocked it. Listen, they've knocked it out of the park. Right, I agree. And now, well, it's, it's now time for the MSRP. Now you guys won't even believe this part. I know, because I didn't believe it at first. MSRP on this travel trailer here is only $49,858 MSRP. Now you guys are probably wondering, Matt, only, right? Only right. 50 grand? We did that 19BH stick and tin. Wasn't that 32? Something like that, yeah. Right, M MSRP. MSRP. Right. So the fact that you can get all of this qual, and nothing's wrong with that, that's just entry level. Right. The fact that you can get all of this which is residential, like I could live in this. Right, I agree. Um, and and there's so many higher end features. Yeah. And in, in this, you know, and all that costs a lot of money. You right. Know? Right. And so, uh, again, just to remind everybody, this phenomenal price, but we will be able to get you an even better price than that because we have now partnered with RV Retailer, which is a nationwide network of dealerships. So it doesn't matter, guys, if you live in New York, Florida, Texas, or California, or anywhere in between. Please go to our website, mattsrvreviews.com. Click that first contact tab if you're ready to buy. Me and Will will personally make sure, we will personally get you in contact with somebody from our team. And we'll make sure you get great service, a great price, and the best buying experience in the entire RV industry. That's will, right. is there anything you'd like to say? Of course, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Again, like Matt said, this is just such a great floor plan. I hope you can kind of see our excitement and yes. enthusiasm behind it. Um, make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody yes, so much for you. watching and we'll, we'll see you next time.